USA Radio News with Chris Barnes. On the heels of renewed missile testing by North Korea, a U.S. official now reportedly says Iran has test-fired a medium-range ballistic missile that traveled over 600 miles. CNN reporting the unnamed official has confirmed the launch. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo says if it's true, he wouldn't be surprised. They continue to engage in malign activity. They continue to build out their missile program. They continue to work on their nuclear systems. Uh, and yet they want to tell the world that, no, they're just defensive and they're just being a normal nation we all see differently. Pompeo speaking on Fox News. President Trump's to sign a 9-11 first responder bill later today to compensate first responders who suffered illnesses and injuries from the terror attacks in New York City in 2001. He'll sign it during a ceremony with a number of first responders. And you're listening to USA Radio News. Immigration officials say a record 61,000 unaccompanied migrant children have crossed the southern border since October of last year, 2,000 more than the previous record. It was set during the entire 2016 fiscal year. DHS officials who testified before a House panel yesterday called for congressional action, including changes to immigration law. A massive federal budget bill headed to the U.S. Senate after passage by the House. The yeas are 284 and the nays are 149. This bill is passed. Without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table. The $2.7 trillion deal raising the debt ceiling as well, removing the threat of a government default for the next two years. A study finds fewer people lighting up in America. The Gallup survey shows just 15% of adults say they've had a cigarette in the past week. And you're listening to USA Radio News. President Trump says the people of New York are devastated about the water-dousing attack on police officers. The president speaking with Fox News host Sean Hannity about it days after the videos took social media by storm. The president says it was tragic to watch, and at first he didn't even believe what he was seeing. One of the videos showing buckets of water being thrown on two cops while making an arrest in Harlem. Another video shows officers being doused as they just walked down a street. The president also called out Democratic Mayor Bill de Blasio on Twitter, saying he should act immediately. De Blasio firing back with, quote, crimes gone down year after year in New York City, and it's not just because you finally left town. End of quote from de Blasio. Three people have been arrested in connection with those water attacks. Police in Los Angeles still searching for a motive after a shooting spree left four people dead. A man is under arrest after an hours-long manhunt accused of first killing his father and brother in a shooting that also left his mother wounded. Police say he later killed a person at a gas station and another person on a bus. And a Change.org petition to move Halloween is nearing its goal of 75,000 signatures. Proponents want to move it from October 31st to the last Saturday of the month. They say with 3,800 injuries each year, it could be safer for kids to trick-or-treat on a weekend. And for USA Radio News, I'm Chris Barnes.